wanted to show you the wall add-on. It's kind of something that's built into Blender, but you have to turn it on to see it. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this or not, but if you go to File, or actually, uh, yeah, File, I'm going back and forth between 2.8 and 2.79, so I get a little lost sometimes. User Preferences, and then Add-ons, and look for Extra. This Your work is much better than what I'm about to show you, but I just kind of wanted to show you this this cool add-on, okay? Use Add Mesh Extra Objects. Make sure that that's checked, and then uh, close this. Then go to Add a New Mesh, and let's see. Let's go down to Extras, and I think right here, Wall Factory. Check this out. So I think a lot of people don't even realize this is built right into Blender. There's some tools here that you can edit. See these tools right here? You can also bring that tool menu up by hitting F6. There's quite a lot of tools here. Um, let's see, we'll bring the menu over here so we can see things a little bit better. Um, just go and play with all this stuff. It's, it's unbelievable how much you can actually edit this thing. I don't remember what these were set on, but um, I'm not going to do this video much justice because I would just be rushing through it. But, you know, we got uh, bottom arc. We've got, what does it say, slots. Crenels, crenels, or whatever they're called. Shelf. Steps. It's kind of interesting. It's pretty intense. The only thing I don't like about it is if you look at this straight on in ortho, there's all this void space in the middle, which you could fix that, but still it's there. Um, there's a lot of editing capabilities in here. Once you actually save this, so like if I went into edit mode right now, I wouldn't have the ability to do this anymore. Or if I did anything, if I moved this object, if I chose another tool, anything at all, it's going to override the ability to work with this property sheet, this editing sheet, if you will. And so keeping this on the screen and working out all those little details right now is kind of important because once you, once you move ahead, you're not going to be able to fix this anymore. So let's say I'm going to take the steps off or decide to add them or whatever. Just make all these choices and then go and do something like go into edit mode. Notice that once I've gone into edit mode, all those tools have gone away. So yeah, this is a pretty cool, pretty cool option here. And I think the point of this isn't to just... Uh, I mean, this isn't the end of your wall. You could actually go in and do more with this. There's a lot more you could do with this. Like, for example, I think maybe you could bevel this a little bit to give it a little, you know, more of a rounded look if you wanted to add all that polygon information. So I just hit Control B and beveled. And of course, you could spend a lot of time making those look more jagged and rocky looking. But, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good start on something like this right so there's your tip for the day 